Hey guys, I have an art journal page to share with you today. We're gonna be using some stencils on this guy. So I got a new art journal. It's the Strathmore Mixed Media um, Vellum Paper and it's 117 pound paper. <laughs> <laughs> Not 120, 117. So I'm starting out with um, San Dina Wakely acrylic paint, and the stencil is by Donna Downey, and it is called Scribble Script. And I'm using um, one of those mini ink blending tools to apply my paint. And I've seen people use this tool, and like they get amazing re results. But I think that you have to use more paint than I'm comfortable with. I if I feel like it soaks up too much paint for me. So I think I'll go back to my little cheapy sponges. So uh, now I have some uh, handmade modern acrylic paint and slate and some elephant Dina Wakely and then the brushes in jar stencil by Donna Downey. And I'm gonna start with my lighter gray first and I'm just gonna do the little container, the vessel here at the bottom and I'm gonna spray it down with water after I remove the stencil because I want it to be like a like a cloud of gray in the background, like a little haze um, behind the darker gray that I'm gonna apply now. So I'm just gonna go right over top those same spots with my gray and I'm not looking for like a pristine sharp edge. Like I want it to kind of be like a little floaty and a little, you know, not perfect. And I also made a little shadow underneath there and uh, now I have mineral acrylic paint and some Liquitex Super Heavy Gesso. I'm first going to start with the mineral and I'm going to use that. So, see, there I go, back to my cheapy, my cheapy sponge. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do the barrels with the mineral. I wanted something... Yeah, I don't know why I picked mineral. Because <laughs> it was gray and different, I guess. It's interesting to me though, like the different tones of gray that you can get, like the mineral is cool toned. You can see it looks kind of bluish and then the elephant has a warm tone. It kind of has pinkiness to it it's cool. Um, I like color theory. So, okay, um, I'm taking my Liquitex uh, the, the, the Super Heavy Gesso and I'm gonna make my bristles and I'm just gonna pounce my um, palette knife up and down to get a little more texture going across my um, bristles yeah my notifications are going off like crazy I hope you guys can't hear that over my voiceover if you can I apologize for that um so I'm gonna do a little outlining with my Stabilo Marksall I wanted to um make them stand out a little more and maybe make them look round so adding like a little shadow around both edges and um I'm just gonna go in with some water then and kind of diffuse that line out darken it by activating it with water and then bring it in a little bit to diffuse it. And then whatever gesso is left on my palette there, I'm just gonna add some highlights back in to my barrels. And then I'm gonna take some fuchsia and cheddar. I'm sorry I didn't show them. I was like in that flow state or whatever they call it. <laughs> when you forget that you're like filming. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of water and I'm going to add that to my bristles of my paintbrushes. Some of them are going to get two colors and yeah, only one only gets one color. But anyway, so I'm going to, um, soak that down with water. I mean, really soak the crap out of it. Get the, um, paint moving and flowing. I'm going to move my book around. I'm going to add more paint, add more water. I want it to really get diffused and color going everywhere out of these paint brushes. Um, the problem I had though is I added a ton of water and you know sometimes when you add a lot of water to acrylic paint you like break up whatever it is the binder and the pigment and it gets kind of grainy. Well I've never ever had that problem with Dina Weekly paints um, and I've added a lot of water to it but these are from are really old they're like from when they used to be in the tubes so I think because they're so old they're like starting to break I mean they're like probably 10 years old um so it got like a little grainy um so I wasn't able to make it as like watercolory as I wanted to so I'm adding some of that like pigment like more um pigmented color back in to kind of cover up some of the uh, graininess, graininess that happened. 
Um, so now I have my um, stencil by Donna Downey. What's this one called? It's something that doesn't make sense to me. Um, oh, it's called What We Do. Like, I feel like it should be called Spill and Write or Paint or something like that. Um, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Um, anyway, so I'm going to just use that mineral and I'm just going to uh, stencil the word paint and the little ampersand there too. And I'm just going to stencil it three times, paint, paint, paint. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of that slate in too because I just want some of the areas to be a little darker. I originally thought that I wanted it to be like a background element, but then at this point I'm kind of thinking I want it to kind of emphasize that girl, which I don't end up using. I was trying to make her work, but something just wasn't working. So I have this Birds in Flight stencil by um, Dina Wakely, and you see how it looks? I really cleaned the crap out of it. <laughs> I didn't know that you could clean it so well that the, like... <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is comes off and it's just clear plastic it won't be doing that again so speaking of that I have a question I'm just going to do some scribble journaling so how do you guys clean your stencils like I scrubbed that one with a tooth toothbrush and obviously I was like way way too much so then I used alcohol and it really got it up easily I mean after they're dried on for like a couple years and don't tell me to clean my stencils right away because I'm not going to do it with all due respect <laughs> So, um, yeah, is that okay? Is that going to ruin my stencils? I don't know. Let me know. So then I'm just going to do some splattering, um, some aggressive splattering there um, with some, what is this, Black India ink. That's my favorite way to splatter. I'm going to edge my whole page with some stays on ink. Oh, I also put the uh, date stamp there Um because I was getting irritated going through old stuff. I didn't know when the heck I was from. And then I had this little piece of, it's like a photocopy of an art journal page I did, and it was on my desk, so I thought, I'm just going to pop this puppy right here. Um, it kind of brings the color down nicely, I thought. So I just glued that down with some tacky glue, and then my paintbrushes weren't standing out enough for me, so I'm just going to go over every... Thing. Again, no, the, I'm going to go over the barrels with this, the blow marks are, I'm going to make it, I'm kind of scribbly too, like I'm going to outline them and then do like some loops and some swoops. Um, yeah, so that's it for my page. Thank you so much for watching and let me know um, what you guys, how you guys clean your stencils without cleaning them right away. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye guys.